My name is Naomi. I'm Maggie. I'm Angus. My name is Danielle. I'm a mom to Jade Michelle. She's two and a half years old. I was in seventh grade, and it was during spring break. So, three days prior to, she was throwing up. She had lost about a pound. I remember he looked so skinny. After a couple hours, when they tried to wake me up, I wasn't waking up. She was kind of like in a trance. He went from begging for water to being desperate for water. <laughs> and I knew something was wrong. He was begging for his life and I didn't know. So I Googled. Urinating more. Skinny, excessive thirst. Like gallons of water. Funny smelling breath. Losing a little bit of weight. Bedwetting. Losing a lot of weight. To the point where you could see all of the bones in my body. And you could see her collarbone and you could see her knee bones. And you could see her ribs. So I put her on the scale and she had lost 11 pounds. My mouth was dry, my stomach was hurting. I could barely keep my eyes open. Next thing I knew there was a helicopter coming. It ended up being like a five hour ride in an ambulance to get him there. I was rushed to the hospital. For most of that part, I was going in and out of consciousness. When we got there, we were told that he was in diabetic ketoacidosis. They took her urine and maybe about 20 minutes later, you just heard the whole hospital rushing. It was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So I'm like, well, what's the problem? I was in a diabetic coma because my blood sugar was over 700. And they were just like, oh, your kid has diabetes and she's in severe DKA. The doctor came to me and told me that I had type one diabetes and that I was in DKA. And that I had to stay in the ICU unit until my blood had was rid of the, the acidosis. There's, there's no transition. There's no gradual step into this diagnosis. You are thrown in the gauntlet and it's very, it's very hard. Yeah. I knew nothing about type 1 diabetes, nothing. I had never heard of type 1 diabetes before. I didn't know yeah. how serious it was. How serious it was. Prior to being airlifted with my kid in severe DKA, they once again sent me home. It's the stomach virus, don't worry about it. My pediatrician said that I'm probably just going through puberty. I was sent home seven times. A lot of the bedwetting was happening at night, so of course we withheld water. There's just no reason any kid needs to go into diabetic ketoacidosis. There's so many tools to test. There's so many signs and symptoms. Trust your gut. If you know that something is going on that is not normal or that is unusual. Ask for that finger prick or the urine test. You should speak up. That mom instinct, is, is priceless, like really priceless. If I would have stayed home that night, like they told me to, like, oh, it's just let the G stay home, I don't know if I'd have my kid. So I went with my gut instinct. I'm just thankful I'm still alive. <laughs>